What's up YouTube, this is Les Levon. Happy New Year if you guys are new to this channel. I am an Instagram photographer, also videographer. As far as what I do, I take pictures, videos, and I like to travel and go on these adventures. I am gonna show you guys what is in my camera bag. I have gotten this question plenty of times and I just wanted to get this out to you guys so you guys can see what I actually have in my bag as far as 2019. Let's go ahead and get this whole video started. First and foremost, let's go ahead and talk about this bag here. This is a bag smart bag. I recently got this over the holidays. I can say about this thing, it's just so big, it's so massive. Honestly, there is so many compartments in this little thing here. All the stuff that I'm gonna be showing you guys in the video is gonna be in the description as well. You guys can check that out. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in here. There's this big slot here. It has so much stuff in here. You can fit your camera, your lenses. There's a little side patch here. This is where I keep my batteries. There's this little base part here where you can store in more camera gear uh, as far as me right now I am currently carrying my Ronin S in here this is not a stabilizer bag I just finessed it in here it also has one of these little clips here so you can clip right here on the top chest and also at the base as well just so you can have that security of carrying all your camera gear or especially on a long hike next thing I want to go ahead and talk about is this wonderful camera that I'm shooting with right now I'm shooting with the Canon 80d this is my main camera I shoot with this typically on every one of my shoots this camera it has dual pixel autofocus. It has 24 megapixels. It is crop sensored. It's not a full frame camera. It also has an articular screen. It's good for vlogging. Well, it's also very helpful with grabbing impossible shots. Say like you're shooting someone at a low angle. You can just pull out the articular screen. It's also touch screen too. It also has Wi-Fi, which is very great when you, especially if you want to start shooting on your own. I use this camera to get my personal shots. I'm not really trustworthy with people taking my own flicks. So I just do that with this camera with the Wi-Fi. It also shoots at 1080 with 60 frames per second. It doesn't have that 4K compatibility. It's also weather resistant. This here it is my wonderful second camera here. This is the Canon T5i. Also, this has a articular screen. I love this camera. I bring this camera with me when I'm doing regular shoots. I just keep this as a run gun for a second camera. Sadly, this camera only shoots at 1080, 30 frames per second. It does shoot in 60 frames per second, but that is when you have to bump it down to a 720 resolution, but it gives the job done only has 18 megapixels I mean, it doesn't have the dual pixel autofocus as this camera does so my next camera my go-to it is my action camera this is the GoPro Hero 5 this is a great action camera with this thing here I use this typically for any of my POV shots I use this mouthpiece here I got this off from Best Buy you can also get this from Amazon it also comes with one of these here so you're shooting underwater it drops out your mouth your GoPro is gonna float on top of the water shoots at 4k with 30 frames per second this is also waterproof without the casing this also has image stabilization it also shoots in raw format you can get this in a flat format so you can get that diversity when it comes down to color grading your videos this is my beautiful wonderful mavic air this thing is just so small look at this boom pop out the wings like that this is my go-to as far as aerial i used to have the phantom 3 standard I went to New York with it. I had to carry two bags just to make sure that I actually had a drone and also a camera bag. So that wasn't the best thing. But this thing here, it is so great. It's so compact. It's so small. I actually was on a shoot one time and I just fit this in my back pocket just because I didn't have my camera bag with me. So as far as camera resolution, this shoots in 4K, 30 frames per second. It also has a battery life of 21 minutes and also could fly up to one and a half miles. When you are flying one of these, just make sure when you're flying it, you have great eye contact with it this has an aperture of 2.8 i really do love the remote on this thing here it is just so great just look how look just look at it here and as you open it up here it has these little sockets for your knobs it is so great to actually put in your backpack another camera i forgot to actually talk about is my wonderful iphone 7 yeah this thing actually shoots in 4k 30 frames a second it also shoots in 60 frames i believe that drops down to 1080 but you guys can get some very great photos I see many people actually shoot with it if you guys are not trying to spend some much money on all this camera gear this is a go-to there's also a road mics to where you can actually connect it to here and actually capture great audios get use of your cell phone you can use it you can use it and you can do it you can make videos and take great pictures too with just your cell phone so i'm just letting you guys know i just dropped the phone again 
As far as lenses, I will go ahead and tell you guys what I actually shoot with. This lens that I'm shooting right here, it is the Canon 1855 kit lens. It has a 3.5 to a 5.6 aperture. This is my main lens. This is a Canon 35 millimeter. It has an aperture of 2.0. It also has image stabilization. And this is a USM instead of the STM. USM is the ultrasonic motors, which it is very quick. It's silent, but not as silent as STM. STM is a steeper motor technology, which is very quick, very silent. As far as like looking at my hand here, it gets in focus from there and then it comes down to me back into focus. It has a very silent focus. That's one thing I love about STM lenses. This is my Canon 50 millimeter. It doesn't have image stabilization. This has a 1.8 aperture. As far as STM or USM, this is just a regular lens. So it doesn't have that silent motor. Listen. That's the motor. If you're investing into a lens and you're trying to do video or just like even photography as well, STM is a good way to go. Well, as far as audio, I have the Rode mic video mic. It's a great shotgun mic. I bring this with me everywhere I go as far as audio, especially with vlogging. And as far as audio, I'm not using the audio on this camera here. I'm using it from the video mic, which is right there. This here is my wonderful gorilla pod this is a joby gorilla pod the reason why you should have one of these especially for video you can hang this on top of trees you can hang this on gates and also it's great for vlogging like yo what's going on today is another day and a new vlog sadly this is not made for my camera this one here is for the lighter cameras but one thing i'm just going to say here is make sure you do your research before buying something i didn't really buy this i got this for free i bought a printer and they gave me this as well so it was a good little steal out of the whole situation Situation. As far as getting something that is made for this camera here, I will go for the Joby 3KG or the 5KG. So this is good for your lighter cameras as far as like Sony 6300, 6500. This is an indie filter for anyone that does video. This is your go-to. I mean, also for photography as well. You need one of these here, especially if you want to get the low aperture and shooting at the same time to get the wonderful blurry background. So this is a variable indie. As you guys can tell, it's really dirty. As you guys can see here, it changes. So it gets lighter it gets darker all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and talk about this thing here this is my dti ronin s this is a camera stabilizer this thing is so easy to use this is a three axis gimbal it also has a focus ring i obviously took it off so with this thing here you can actually connect it to your phone you can actually move the gimbal itself you can grab moving time lapses there's many other features that you actually can do with this thing here so as far as that ronin s i forgot to actually mention it it actually has a 12 hour battery life it says it has a wind capacity of 46.5 miles per hour i seen a video where a guy took it to its limits and went to 90 miles per hour and it still got some great shots so i'm not i'm not sure if you really want to shoot 90 miles per hour with a ronin s out your window but you have that kind of versatility this is a portable battery i bring this with me everywhere i go so i can actually keep my phone charged when i'm actually doing a shoot so this here is the viltrox l 132t it's a portable light i got this recently from a friend very thankful for him for actually give me this he gave me two but my dogs ate the second one so i just have this one here there's this little dial thing here to where you can actually mess with the kelvin but you know get that warmer look and then also a cooler look on it and you can also work with the percentage of lighting so you can just dial it down or pick it up depending on what you need it for what i use as far as computers i use a 2011 macbook pro it crashes on me literally every time i do like a hardcore project as far as software i use lightroom premiere photoshop i'm trying to use after effects but as i told you guys before my computer crashes all the time so using that as a hardcore edit on a video is not going to work out for me so just wait until i upgrade as far as hard drives this is the seagate hard drive that holds up to two terabytes and when as far as hard drives you don't want to use the full capacity because they can crash i did have another hard drive that i currently have i don't really want to promote it it was one terabyte and i only got up to 600 gigs and it crashed i was lucky enough that my friend gave this to me and i transferred all that stuff into here as far as camera gear 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope you guys did like this video. There's plenty of other things I didn't really talk about, but I really hope you guys genuinely like this video. Stay tuned for another video. I got some more stuff, more content coming up for you guys as well. I can subscribe if you actually like this video. I'll try to bring you guys my next shoe. I've been trying to do that lately. It doesn't really work out too well, but I'll bring you guys my next shoe. And also maybe even how I actually edit photos. This is probably gonna be like my last video in this room here, because I'm actually gonna be moving soon. So I'll give you guys an update on what's going on, what's cracking on, but I'll catch you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.